Today I'm going to be talking about a fragrance from Frederick Marl. This is a release that came out a couple of years ago and it is called Music for a While. Stay tuned to hear my thoughts. You, hey, how's it going everyone? Raj here. I hope all of you out there are doing well. So a couple of years ago in 2018, Frederick Marle worked with the perfumer Carlos Benaim to create music for a while. Those two have actually worked together a few times before. They've created Eau de Magnolia, Dawn, and a few home products like candles and uh, room sprays. Music for a while for me is a fruity, sweet, ambery type fragrance. The main players are pineapple, lavender and patchouli. And for me, this was a fragrance that I really needed a bit of time to really get to, get to grips with. There were times when I really enjoyed it, there were times when I really disliked it. And I think now that I've got to the end of this 3.5 ml sample, I've pretty much come to a middle point between those two uh, opposing views. So here's a little close-up of the sample. These are official Frederick Marle uh, 3.5 ml atomizers. They're pretty handy. And they, uh, they also come in this little slide box. So these are quite cool for traveling and just getting, getting um, getting a decent amount of experience with the fragrance. Okay, so the note breakdown in the top, there is lemon, mandarin, and bergamot, so very citrusy. I'm also gonna add in pineapple too. Going into the mid of this fragrance, there's lavender, and in the base notes, patchouli, labdanum, and vanilla. Performance of this fragrance is really, really good. The longevity is amazing. The uh, projection is quite loud and quite strong. I've noticed with this fragrance that you can control uh, how potent the fragrance is by the number of sprays. I tend to spray less of this one. I actually have found that if I spray this one on too, too much, uh, the sweetness really um, jumps off my skin too much and becomes sickly sweet, so I prefer to just spray a little bit less. Seasons for this one, I would go as far to say that this is almost year round. Uh, when I first got my sample, I was wearing this in cooler, colder weather, and I thought, yeah, this kind of feels like the right time. I felt like in the warmth, um, the sweetness would maybe be amplified a little bit too much, but actually, now that the weather has warmed up slightly here in the UK, we're into spring, um, actually, the fragrance works quite well, and I think I actually prefer it. Uh, at this time of the year. I think there are many occasions you could wear this fragrance. I wouldn't really pick a certain time or place. And I also think this is very, very uh, much a unisex fragrance. So what does it smell like? Well, I mentioned earlier that there, are part, there, were, there were times when I really, really loved this fragrance and really disliked it. So I'm gonna try and split the review into those two parts. So basically in the opening, I get an amazing pineapple note. I think this is actually the star of the show. It really takes me back to when I first owned, or first, yeah, first tried and first owned Creed Aventus. Uh, the pineapple note in here is sweet, it's juicy, uh, it's quite sugary, and it gives you a vibe of like a pineapple juice. It's very quickly joined by a lavender note, and there are times when I thought this fragrance clashed, or the, the lavender specifically clashed with the pineapple. There are times when I thought they were a perfect pair, you know, so at times they were like opposing magnets, other times they just blended really, really nicely. The lavender is of a high quality for sure. You can really feel it and I really enjoy it. If I can isolate it in my mind or in my nose, actually the lavender note is really, really good quality. It's dry, it is herbal, uh, a little bit dusty, and it's really nice to just inhale this fragrance. And it gives you a feeling of like an aromatherapy blend, something along those lines. But there were times when, as I said, I didn't really feel like it blended with the pineapple. The pineapple was very sweet. And then you've got this dryness from the lavender. And yeah, I think I'm leaning towards 
No, they don't really blend well together, to be honest. So as the fragrance develops, I get this uh, feeling of uh, the note of Immortelle, which I think is known as Everlasting Flower. There's a syrupy amber quality to this fragrance. Labdanum and vanilla are in this fragrance, which are commonly used when trying to create this uh, amber accord. So it could all of, be all of this combining to give me a feeling that kind of smells like Immortelle. One thing that also is more um, is uh, uh, joins this fragrance also is the patchouli, and it really uh, gave me hints of Monsieur, which is another fragrance by Frederick Marle, where it's a lot more sort of loud in your face. The patchouli here in here is on the sweeter side. It's um, you can kind of pick up on it, but sometimes it's like in the background, it comes and goes. And I think when it really shined on my skin is actually when um, I wore this in slightly warmer conditions or when my body was warmer. In fact, when my body is, was warmer, especially on the chest area and on the insides of the arms, the lavender and the patchouli subsided and this patchouli ambery sweetness came through. So this sweetness from the pineapple and then sometimes there was sweetness from the patchouli amber and presumably the labdanum all coming together and i actually much prefer that side i've never worn this like in the summer in like high heat but i would you know kind of be intrigued to see uh what if this fragrance would change or how it would smell but this is actually the part of the fragrance that i enjoy the most the scent dries down to this very warm skin accord. It's uh, slightly dusky and dusty and musky and uh, slightly fruity and almost gives a hint of like a fruity tobacco vibe, but just a hint of it. Um, I think overall this fragrance is a nice fragrance, but I could never, I never really loved it. I didn't hate it. And I think now that I've you know gone through this uh, 3.5 ml uh, sample as decant, I'm somewhere in the middle. So I'm gonna give this a rating of 7.5 out of 10. Guys, I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this fragrance? Um, if you do like this type of content, please consider liking this video and subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, thanks for watching, bye.